Okay, so I've been wondering whether or not to do this video or not, and I've really considered it. And after getting texts, emails, phone calls, comments from just about everyone who has interacted with me over all the years, um, up until this point, um, really... I don't know whether or not I'll post this, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. So the question is all on the coronavirus or whatever name you want to call it. And um, so what do I say about it? Well, I say that I've been telling people for years that this was happening and going to happen. I've told everyone for years to choose your vibration, that the vibrations of fear and anger, worry, annoyance, anything along those lines were leaving the planet, that this is a vibratory planet, and uh, although you are in a human suit and you translate everything through your five senses and human emotions, that Gaia is a vibratory being and does not translate those things through human uh, senses and emotions that her changing of vibrations to what you say or what we say is higher is simply a vibratory shift in order to leave this particular game um, from a human standpoint I've told you all over and over that I'm new at this game I'm not any good at it um, I told you, I'm an expert uh, outside the game and how these games are created and how this game is created, but actually playing the game is not my forte. So I've suggested strongly to people uh, when they come to me and want to find the love of their life or to win the lottery or have the perfect job and all that stuff to follow someone else, that that is not... Um, I'm not any good at all of those things. I, I don't have a lot of experience in linear time, which is what put a kink, puts a kink in everything. Um, what I have suggested strongly to people over the last couple of years is uh, to explain how what Gaia is doing and um, what you can do to make it easier. Uh, in hopes of making your lives easier. I was very, very clear at the very last round of, of videos that it was very, very, very important to get rid of needs of anything. Uh, that you, you really needed to not need anything. And I did a video reminding everybody about the gods that they are. And those who... I can really tell people who really don't even have a clue because if you even start to really comprehend the God that you are, you don't ask for things like um, to win the lottery or the love of your life or a new car or a better job because a God doesn't think that small. Uh, they just don't. So that's very much from a human perspective, and that's just not what I do. It's not my forte. Uh, I don't have anything against having a really good job or the love of your life or a million dollars. I'm just saying I'm not the person to talk to about it. So I did s tell everybody that these vibrations of fear and anger were going to have to be gone off the planet. Um, I tried to explain how that was going to work out. It's very hard to explain because um, people think they don't understand that you're on an individual timeline that only you perceive in, and other people agree with you at times and don't agree with you at times, but this moves very, very quickly. And just because you don't realize that you're a god doesn't mean that you aren't a god, and Gaia is a god, and all those things are true. And everything will get, everybody gets what they want, uh, whether they're asking for what they really want or not. Uh, you're going to get what you're vibrating at. And those vibrations of fear and anger um, are leaving the planet. 
and um, I've tried to explain that with everybody. I've tried to get you guys to just try to watch it as a game and be happier and happier and not pay any attention. If you look around the planet right now, you can see two very distinct groups, and one of them is uh, laughing at how people are acting, and others are laughing because they believe it's a hoax. Either way, it doesn't matter. They're laughing. And the laughing is what is a higher vibration. And then there's the side that is very, very fearful or um, afraid of what might be. And then they're angry at the ones that are laughing. So... Um, you can see those two sides occurring. Now, I've also spent a lot of time in a lot of videos trying to explain to you that you, that this is a game and that you can choose to play it any way you want to. You choose. But you're not allowed to interfere with other people's games either. Now, what that translates as is if you want to experience, um, this disease that's on the planet as a scary thing that will destroy civilization as we know it, uh, that will kill masses, then you absolutely are allowed to create that reality. Now, that will be on an alternate Earth. It won't be on Gaia. But, so what? You won't know the difference. They won't know the difference. And then there are, um, if you choose to laugh it off, to watch the game with popcorn, as Stephanie frequently talks about, uh, then that's what you can do and anything in between. But after all of the time that I have spent describing things and explaining things, um, I just don't know what to say. I, I've explained to everybody that these things, uh, that uh, certainly everything is possible and everything's available it's a very complex intense game and that if somebody wants to live on a planet that is being overrun and destroyed by a virus um, they have every right to do it you have a right to do that individually and you can make it happen because you're a god there are enough consciousnesses that will play NPC people around you on an alternate earth that will make it appear that nothing has changed and you can be the only one that believes in your scenario and it will uh, flow easily and quickly just like you're on earth with everybody as it stands but because y'all aren't really understanding how powerful you are as gods and because you're really not understanding how much of a just experience, a, a play, a game this is, then everything that I've said that really should be put into place now during this time um, isn't, uh, people aren't, aren't following my advice. So, of course, I've looked at several years, a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of videos, um, trying to talk about it very simplistically, trying to make it as easy as I possibly could. And there were many things that happened up to this point. This is just the major one. Um, to make you be able to flow through this period of time in happiness. Um, I was very clear that the cities have to change. It was very clear that education and medical and governments, all these things have to change and be run without those vibrations of fear and anger. And the only way that's going to happen is for them to change. That, that means you can't, you can't have them running the way they are now and vibrating and being run a completely different way. The ones that are running off fear and anger have to be replaced with a higher vibratory system. That means the systems that are based on anger and fear are going to go away. So if that puts you in fear and panic, that's fine. There is no right or wrong way to play this game, to experience the experiences. But you will be on um, those planets in 
those dimensions. You will not be on a dimension of Gaia where um, it becomes very magical and most of those systems aren't here anymore, which is 5D Gaia. Um, I'm not sure at this point what else to say to anybody. I've explained what all of this meant. I, I told you guys the process, the process was happening and to choose a side and to lean into it, to wait, all kinds of ways to try to uh, get out of that fear and worry. Uh, I was very, very clear on not being attached to things. Uh, because now in this situation, now that these things are occurring, uh, whatever you're attached to, whatever people were attached to, that's what's causing them to be in fear and anger. So if they are attached to their family, the fear of their family dying is the source. If they're attached to their job, then that's the fear and worry is uh, fear and anger is about. If they're attached to money, if they're attached to a city, uh, whatever the attachment is um, under these circumstances, it is that's the point. The point in all of this is to really force the issue for people to decide which way they're going to vibrate because guy is leaving i mean she's about done with this so uh, there's been push and hint and suggestion and all of these things have occurred for a very long time to get people to make that decision and now it's down to a really big push so at this point you can either really understand that you're a god this is a game and you can experience whatever you want to, leaning into the higher vibrations, allowing people to have the experience of uh, all of this fear and anger, and let them go off in that other vibratory earth that's in parallel to this one, and ride this one up, or you can ride the one that's in fear or anger, but that is due to the attachments. If you don't have any attachments to anything, including life and health, then none of this will have a negative effect. You will not be angry or fearful. Uh, if you understand that you're a god and everyone else is too, you won't be in anger or fear about what's going on. You will realize that people have just chose the experience they want to have. No big deal. No reason to be upset or angry uh, about any of it. But most of my videos that I that I did, um, now's that well they, a lot of it should have been done as I was doing them, uh, but most of the actual work that people had to do, the actual things that you had to do weren't done, and so when the last things that people were hanging on to that they need, I can't let go of this. I need this. I need this. I need my husband, I need my job, I need my money, uh, I need the city activities, I need that car. Whatever it was that that need was is now being challenged because all of those systems um, are being put at risk um, all over the planet. And of course that was what it was meant to be, it was to separate these two experiences so that people who uh, don't need any of that stuff who are ready to go into a more magical land and uh, become more uh, creators of day-to-day, moment-to-moment time experiences and change everything on the planet, whether it's uh, gravity or um, breathing underwater or very much more magnificent things. If you're ready to do that, then these other vibrations of fear and anger, they just can't be at this, on the same planet at the same time by the same beings, that's all. So if you've chosen that you want to continue the game the way it is, then, then um, people will go into these alternate Earths. And I would go into all of that about how that works, but 
I, I don't know why I should whenever all these other videos who are who are very simple who all of them laid it out pretty simply and it didn't work um, how the alternate war earths and the splitting of the vibrations and in uh, the higher vibration of the guy is taking with her going up those are way more complex than the concept of that you're a god and this is a game so if i couldn't do a good enough job with the videos to get people to after two three years to be able to understand the importance of letting go of these needs so that they could be on the Gaia that is going to be a very magical place. If I couldn't get that through to people in several years, I don't know that I'll be able to explain these much more complex issues. I, I'm not sure that it's worth it. Um, I, I don't know that it works. And at this point, I'm just wondering if uh, what I saw was in my videos, there were mostly, all it did was lead to more questions that lead to more questions and lead to more questions, and that is how the game is played here. That is how human, humans play the game, is questioning, breaking down. That's called fractaling. Fractal more, fractal more. Ask more questions, break it down. Ask more questions, break it down. But what my intent for the videos was to defractal, to have you accept things without questioning them to remember not because of what i said but because what i said would trigger a memory a knowingness and without it having to be proved to you which always leads to more fractaling that there would be a knowingness a, a god knowingness that you would remember from the other side before you came here and you would just accept things and go oh yeah i remember yeah i need to do that boom done but that didn't seem to happen. Um, there's like three people. Of course, G-Man is doing it beautifully, but he's a really, really long, long-term human. He's very good at this. He doesn't even realize he's good at playing the game. Um, but long, long, long-term humans are very good at playing this game of rolling into this, whereas star seeds are not. And uh, they're babies in the game, so they tend to... A fractal harder and harder and harder and ask questions why how what where when that all of that stuff is is takes linear time space consideration proving and it leads to more and more questions more and more questions which is what created 3d but we're going to 5d so there's what I was trying to do was trigger people into a blanket understanding and remembering of where they came from and um, for the most part that's not what happened um, for the people who who um, are raising up my uh, G man and Michelle are two of them um, and then there's a couple that I won't say because I don't have their permission to use their names I know G man won't care and I know Michelle won't care um, the other two uh, I'm not gonna use their names without their permission but um, for the most part, uh, the rest of them, now there are some of you guys out there that are heading to really high 4D. Um, it's not going to be on this planet. It'll be on an alternate Earth or on another planet altogether. Um, so everybody's not staying in 3D or even low 4D. Um, most people that I've talked to a lot, they are, high, they are raising higher, but they're very definitely still going to be in the fourth dimension and it's a very big place and like i've told you guys over and over uh, there's nothing wrong with that but the information that you need to raise to 5d gaia is already on all those videos um, all you have to do is follow them um, i think i'm going to go ahead and leave the youtube videos up on you on youtube and then I'm going to go to the other platform and build my channel all over again in a, in a different way. Um, in a different way. And I'm going to cut back on the videos that are doing a lot of repeating. So I'll leave the repeating videos here on this channel. 
and um, do so, a whole bunch of different things on on um, the other platform, BitChute. I'm going to go over to BitChute and create another channel over on that site. Um, so, what I can say to you about uh, the virus is um, a couple of normal, uh, regular things is, uh, masks, regular masks, uh, unless you s get very specific ones and you know exactly how to wear them, uh, and are willing to spend the money, uh, those, the masks that most people are using are for bacteria, and bacteria are much larger, um, viruses are very, very, very teeny tiny, and they go right through those masks, it's a very specific mask you have to wear, for a virus so all of this um, mask wearing uh, just from a human scientific standpoint uh, you're wasting your time and your money and how long are you going to be able to do that anyway uh, if you're going to be playing this virus game then uh, choose where you want to fall along that that's totally up to you you can uh, make it a something that that will destroy everything or something that will have a little effect um, you can have whatever layer of fear and anger that you want that is your choice uh, you are a creator god you will have other beings that will agree with you and will form what looks like uh, the earth as you know it it'll look just like that only you'll have a whole bunch of npcs running around with you and um, there's a lot of them out there already, uh, but you can form your own personal version. Um, and there will be consciousness that, that will inhabit uh, the consciousness of the other 7 billion people on this planet and all of the life forms in order to allow you to live out whatever version you would like. And that is what I'm trying to tell you guys is you are all gods and you are not little G gods. You are big G, big O, big D gods. You can do anything. And so uh, everybody gets to play this out however they want to. Uh, those that want to uh, stay with Gaia and do what Gaia wants to do, then that's a whole different route. And most of us, we pretty much are not creating based on what we ourselves want. Um, we're kind of umbrellaing under Gaia, is let me support you in however you want this done. Uh, I'm here for you to have, uh, to support your experience. So we're kind of, a, kind of the NPCs for Gaia going to the, the version that she wants to go to, so to speak. Uh, but I will give you that information about the masks um, if you're going to be concerned about it um, think outside the box um, things like toilet paper for instance uh, we haven't had toilet paper that long it's uh, not that old of a thing so think what did they do before toilet paper um, there are you can use rags in a ziploc bag or in Bleach your vinegar water next to the toilet, wipe yourself, clean them, dry them, reuse them. Okay? Uh, yeah. There's all kinds of ways that you can clean yourselves. Uh, there are menstrual cups for uh, women uh, that are Stephanie's been using for years. That's a good way of, of dealing with your menstrual issues and not have to reuse paper products. So look up the menstrual cup. Uh, those work really, really well. Um, I'll let you guys that want to be in the game of whatever level it is. Uh, I'm just saying, if you're going to to be a part of worrying about whether or not you're going to have food or water or, or toilet paper, uh, I would encourage you to, if you've at least been listening to me, try to stay happier and happier on it. And for, for all... Think outside the box. Use your head. So, of course, toilet paper is not the only way that one can cleanse uh, a body. 
So think of it like that. Whenever you're dealing with these issues, uh, think outside the box. Uh, don't, as a, as a system fails and it's no longer providing service, don't keep complaining because the restaurant's not open. While the restaurant is open, while you starve to death, go an alternate route to feed yourself. Um, this is being passed from person to person. The cities, of course, are going to have a lot more cases. Um, yeah, I really don't know what else to tell you guys. Uh, I've said it all in all my videos before. Um, I feel great. Uh, it finally feels relaxing and I can hear Gaia so much better her we're having whole conversations her um, effect is so much brighter she's much more like the person I know and I'm very excited um, I'm feeling better I know that the work I did that was so difficult over the last two years vibratorily with the vortex group is what was necessary in order to set up this last few stages so it wasn't a lost cause um, to do the videos because it did lead me to people and people around the world that I was able to on a different level not as a human but on a, on a higher level we were able to get a lot of defractaline done that balanced the planet to make it possible for her to take over and do a lot of these things Gaia does want me to tell everyone. Again, Gaia has senses different than the five 